it's James here from goodguitarist.com and today we're going to continue where we left off with Walk the Line. Last time we learned the intro and we learned the basic chord progression. Well in this lesson we're going to learn how to play through the entire song because there's quite a lot to it. You know he plays through the basic chord progression and then he changes keys through the circle of fifths to the next closest key and then he plays the entire song in that key and then he changes keys again so this song is actually three separate three chord strummers you know and today we're going to learn how to put that all together how to learn all those connecting bits you know all that stuff that you need and then we're going to play through the entire song nice and slow now, before we get started, if you need help following along with it, I have a worksheet available on my Patreon that goes over this entire song and it'll show you how to glue it all together, how to practice each part. You know, it's not just like a chords and lyrics sheet. It has that, but it has a lot more on it. So, you know, please check that out if you're if you find that you need any help following along and knowing what's coming up, you know. Um, also, I have my free ebook, which is free for all my subscribers, and there's my premium courses, my beginner's course, my strumming course, and a few others. So please check those out. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any trouble following along or you need any help and have any questions for me. Uh, otherwise, with all that aside, let's start off with our lesson. The first thing we're going to do is a quick recap. So our first verse used B7, then E and A. And let's just take a super quick voyage into theory land here. Um, we're using the E, A, and B7 chords, and that's in the key of E. Now, if I write out all the chords in the key of E, you'll see that those are the one, the four, and the five. You know, these other chords, they sound great, but we didn't use them in this song, so we don't really care. We're just going to focus on the one, the four, and the five. Now, next, he's going to go to the key of A. And in the key of A, if I write that out, we have the one, the four, and the five. That's A, D, and E. So we're going to be using those three chords now. So we're going to take our chord progression that we played in the first verse, and we're going to substitute each of those for the appropriate number. So since we're in the key of E, B7 is 5, E is 1, A is 4. So we switch those all into their corresponding number. And now we're going to take those numbers and we're going to see what chords from the key of A those numbers are. So in the key of A, A is number 1. So all our E's have been replaced by A's. You know, and D is number 4, so the A chord gets replaced by a D chord. And then E is 5, so the B7 chord gets replaced with E7. So we kind of just changed our chord progression into numbers, and then we changed it from numbers back into our chord progression, but in a different key. You know, it's just like a little two-step process, and that puts us in the key of A. So for our next verse, we're going to be using the A chord, the D chord, and the E chord. Now, we've already played A and E with our strumming pattern, but we haven't used our strumming pattern on D. So let's take a quick look at that. We have our D shape. The first, our root note is going to be the D string. And I like to take my thumb. You can see there how I'm covering the thickest string with my thumb. If you're not able to do that, it's no big deal, but it does help with making sure you don't accidentally get it. And then I just pluck the D string down, up, and then the A string. So work on that a little bit, you know, get comfortable with the strumming pattern on the D chord. And now we're going to play through our chord progression with our strumming pattern, nice and slow, starting off on E. And let's make it E7. You know, there's two ways we can do that. We can either add our pinky to the third fret of the B string, or we can just take our E shape and just remove our ring finger. That works just as well. I'm going to do this one because I like it. So we're starting off on E7. A one, two, three, four.
cool. So that's the second verse. Now we have to figure out how to transition between the first verse and the second verse. I'll just play the last little bit of the first verse. So the transition by itself goes like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So we played three notes on the thickest string. And then we play the A chord with our pattern four times. And that's all we have to do for the transition. Now, as far as putting that in between the two verses, let's backtrack a little bit. We're gonna start on the, because you're mine, I walk the line. You know, the very last line of our first verse, starting on B7. Because you're mine. So if we focus just on that E chord, we played our strumming pattern once, and then we plucked the thickest string on beat one, and then we played O, two, four, and we got into our A chord, we do that four times, and then from there we would start our second verse. So I'm gonna play that complete transition nice and slow, starting on B7. Oh, one, two, three, four. our second verse which we've already practiced so I want you to try just what I just did you can just rewind over and over again and try that with me where we're going between the last bit of the first verse and the beginning of the second verse using that transition and now we're gonna move on to the next key we're gonna do this again going from the second verse to the third verse so a quick recap our first verse was in the key of E so it used E A B 7 that's the one four five then the same one four five but in the key of a is A, D, E. Well, now we're going to jump up to the key of D. And in the key of D, you can see I have it written out here. D is number one, G is number four, and A is number five. So when we take our chord progression and we substitute in the key of D, D is one, G is four, A is five, that's what we get here. So all in all, it's the exact same chord progression, you know, five, one, five, one, four, one, five, one. And then we just do it in the key of E, the key of A, and now the key of D. Let's take a look at the chords for the key of D. We have the D shape, which we just practiced, the A shape, and then we have G. And we have not done G with our strumming pattern. We're gonna pluck the thickest string, down, up, and then the D string. You're welcome to just keep hitting the thickest string, you know, if you want to simplify it or totally, that sounds totally great. We'll start off by playing through our entire progression with those chords, starting on A, and we can do A or we can do A7, and A7 is easy, you can just take off your middle finger, or I like to do it this way where I put my middle finger on the second fret of the D string, then my ring finger on the second fret of the B string. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four.
our chord progression and now the transition goes like this. So it's the exact same thing as before, except we're on a D chord now and we pluck those three notes on the A string. You know, so on the A string, O, two, four, and then we do our strumming pattern with the D chord four times. So transition's simple enough. Let's work it into our progression. We're gonna start off at the end of verse two on the same same part of the song, because you're mine, I walk the line, but this time it's an E7 chord. One, two, three, four, one. Because you're mine. I walk the line. Sure, is dark and day is light. So that was the exact same thing as before as far as the rhythm is concerned. I'll just let you keep rewinding and trying that a few times. So at this point we have all the tools we need to start the tune and get all the way up into the key of D and now what we're going to do is go back into the key of A and then back into the key of E. You know he kind of climbs up E into the key of A into the key of D and now he goes back down to the key of A and back down to the key of E finally and that's where the song ends. So there's five verses total. You can see here which keys everything is in and we already know how to play each verse. We just have to work those couple of transitions out. So we're in the key of D now for our third verse and we want to go back to the key of A. The transition goes like this. Because you're mine. So we played the last bit of verse three, which was an A7 chord, strumming pattern two times. Then we played our pattern once on D, and then so O, O on the D string, and then four, two on the A string, and then we played our A chord with the pattern four times. Verse 4 is in the key of A, so we do it just like verse 2, where we start off on the E7. So let's try that together, nice and slow, just the end of verse 3 into the beginning of verse 4. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. And now we would play through all of verse 4, and when we get to the end of it, we'd have to transition into verse 5, which is in the key of E, and it would go like this. Mine, I walk the line. start off at the end of verse 4, which is an E7 chord. We do it two times. And then A chord one time. And our transition. And we land on an E chord. We do it four times. And then we play through verse 5, which is in the key of E, which starts on B7. It's the exact same thing as the very first verse that we played. So let's do that transition together nice and slow. A one, two, three, four.
that's every little piece of this song. And the best thing we can do right now is play through the entire thing from start to finish nice and slow. And I'm going to set my metronome to 96. That's pretty slow. It's a good slow, medium tempo to get used to this tune. One, two, a one.
So that's how you play Walk the Line from start to finish. You know, there's so much in this tune that I had to break it down into two lessons. Don't forget, there's that worksheet on my Patreon page that'll show you how to get through this song start to finish, all the transitions, you know, all the all the little pieces. So you'll you'll have the whole thing laid out in front of you and you can see what to practice and how to glue it all together. Um, I also have my free ebook, which has all the basics of chords and strummings completely free. And there are my premium courses. And for this tune, I think strumming made simple is definitely the one that would help you out the most. Um, it'll help you get your rhythm together inside and out, you know, no matter what you're doing, you want to learn how to play and sing at the same time. You know, there's so much in that course teaches you how to pick up patterns by ear. So please check that out if you need any extra help. Otherwise, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you need any extra help, like and subscribe, and have a fun time practicing. I'll see you soon.